So we'll move on to the, the second half of the prize, which was awarded to the discovery of the human immunodeficiency virus. This is a very controversial area. It's been a subject of much high-level high debate and public debate. Um, could you tell us a bit about who you've given the, the prize to and why you've chosen to give it to these people? So there are two uh, researchers who have got the prize, Barré Sinoussi and Luc Montagnier. They collaborated at the Institut Pasteur in Paris with the discovery and isolation of the first HIV types, HIV type 1, and that is the main uh, cause of acquired immunodeficiency. But we provide the prize for the discovery of the virus because that is the paradigm shift in this science. They provided this virus isolate to a number of other research groups. Diagnostic tools were generated by many other groups and eventually together numbers of scientists could then definitely link the HIV to the formation of AIDS. So could you tell us more about the actual discovery itself and why you're choosing to reward this? You said it's a paradigm shift, but could you elaborate on that, please? They did several assumptions that turned out to be true. First of all, they decided to use lymph nodes, the source of the cells that they cultured. Secondly, they decided to activate the cells in order to try to get virus production out of them. Thirdly, they consequently and every third day assessed for the potential presence of an enzyme that is specific for retrovirus, reverse transcriptase mm -hmm. enzyme. And they were able to demonstrate that lymphocytes of that type that is declining in those that are affected by the disease were the cells that actually were infected. So they not only isolated the virus, they also provided explanation for why the immune impairment occurred. What did their findings actually allow? So the findings allowed for cloning of the virus. That led to the development of antiretroviral drugs. We currently have 30 different drugs that have revolutionized the care of these individuals. Infected individuals now get immune reconstitution and can go back to a normal life and almost have a normal life expectancy. We can also prohibit mother-to-child transmission of this virus by these drugs. Diagnostic tools that have developed have also allowed us to restrict the pandemic by now screening blood products and infected individuals for potential infection. And so, just to sort of re recap a bit, is what, there, was a, there was a lot of scientific effort going on in the field at the time. Why, 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 why was this the particular discovery? You said it was a paradigm shift, but there was also the linking of the, of the, of the virus to AIDS. So could you sort of go into a little bit as, as to why you focused on this discovery rather than the linking of the virus to the disease? Because the discovery of the virus was really the most important thing. Without the discovery of the virus, you could never have done the exact identification of the cause of the disease. The cause of the disease was then the central paradigm shift. The establishment that this virus actually caused acquired immunodeficiency were made by many groups. At least seven different scientific groups in the world contributed to the definite proof that HIV caused AIDS. And so the, the discovery of the um, human immunodeficiency virus was made 25 years ago. Why has it taken up till now to award the prize for this subject? Is part of that down to the debate that was going on about um, who actually discovered the, the virus? To some extent, yes, because it, we don't only lean on the publications that has been done. We also have other sources that we have to dissect in order to be sure who really did the job. The French team actually consisted of 17 different individuals involved in the discovery, but the two persons that we finally got evidence for did the major part of the discovery was Paris Sinoussi and Luc Montagnier. And it took us a number of years to find out how it really was. And so um, what, what roles do the two researchers have in the discovery? Sorry. What, what, what roles do the two researchers have in the actual discovery? They made all the key observations. They set up the technology. They made the protocol. They made all the very important discovery, one to each other the specific enzymatic activity, the toxicity of the helper phenotype, 
the budding of lentivirus type of virus particles from the infected cells and the immunological properties of this novel lentivirus. That was all contribution from the two awarded persons. And as I mentioned, there has been a, uh, a lot of public debate about who discovered the, the virus. Do you expect any sort of reaction to your decision? It can very well be. It happens many times. And we can, of course, only make comments on the ones that we actually give prize. You can actually divide the world in, uh, into those that have got a Nobel Prize and those that may get it in the future. And as I mentioned, this is, this was, there's, the prize has been divided between two two research areas. Could you say something about why the, prize, uh, the medicine committee decided to split this prize? Because it actually was two completely independent prizes. And each of them could have been given out individually at two consecutive years. But it happened that the committee were ready and, and had done all the investigations so that they were sure at the same year. And then, since it was three persons who had done this, it was possible for the committee to give shared price, sorry, divide, two divided prize at the same time. And is that the general criterion for dividing a prize? It's, it's whether you have the, the enough information at the time with the right number of people? The most important thing is each part has to be able to stand alone. That is, it has to be price worth each of them. It's not the combination that is price worth it. It's that each of these discoveries is price worth it. Thank you very much for that, Professor Anderson. Thank you. If you want more information about this prize or interviews or summaries of the prize, please, please visit nobelprize.org. Thank you very much.